Merry Christmas everyone! The best way to spread Christmas cheer! One exciting thing is happening tomorrow. My humans are getting married. I actually cannot deal. It's a chewy for time! Here's the new fiancés. And then my main present from my mum and dad. Hope you all had a lovely, lovely Christmas. Thanks, Sunny, for your kisses. It is actually Christmas Eve for us. <laughs> Sunny, I'm busy. Like I was saying, it's Christmas Eve for us right now. It's about half past nine in the morning, and I thought I would share with you what our Christmas is like this year, because obviously it's a little bit different. It's Sunny's first Christmas, so we're very excited about it. I've got my hat on, by the way, because I'm literally just about to leave the house, so soz for that. I know it's not very like, festive. Happy Christmas. It's going to be a little bit different this year. So usually every year my brother and his girlfriend come over for Christmas but obviously we're in tier 4 in Essex this year. 2020, what a year. So it's just going to be me, my mum and dad and Sunny for Christmas day. I think we are going to meet my brother and his girlfriend for a walk tomorrow because nothing's been said about that. I think as long as we're distanced that's allowed. They live really close as well so it's not like either of us have got to travel for it. And it's this little one's first Christmas. It's Christmas tomorrow Sunny. She's like I don't care, I don't know what that is, I'm just busy chewing this cardboard right now I'm so excited so first things first on this christmas eve we are just about to head out for a walk as a family but first of all we need to drop a bottle of wine to our accountant <laughs> so festive i know i've got to pick up my tax book as well and he's based in south end so we're going to go for a walk on south end seafront very excited about that we have not been to south end for ages for a walk and i feel like it's going to be really lovely today i think there's going to be a lot of families there christmas eve everyone getting a bit of fresh air before they fill themselves with food tomorrow so that's the plan this morning i've also got a dog jumper to return from pets at home so sad but i bought a jumper for my brother's dog because obviously they were going to come over and now they can't so dog don't need a jumper anymore so yeah a few bits and bobs to do this morning and then we're going to get on with the festivities this afternoon i really want to paint my nails today as well i'm thinking maybe a bit of emerald green for christmas this year hmm. what color are you doing your nails for christmas this year Hey? One more sleep until it's Christmas. One more sleep. I am about to leave. I just got very hot in my hat. But Sunny is going to wear her little Christmas harness today. It's so cute. She's been wearing this for like most of December. But I realised I'm not actually showing you. So this is her Christmas harness. How cute is it? Obviously it's from Pablo and Co. It's an Australian brand. I would say beware because I was charged £14 shipping on this once it got to the UK. I'd already paid shipping on the website so a little bit annoying but I bought two so it kind of softened the blow a bit. But yeah this is her Christmas harness and then she's got her tag on here. I bought these little things on eBay so I could easily swap the tag between all the harnesses because obviously she has quite a few. And then this little bow is from Daisy's Designs. I'll leave links to everything in the description down below but how cute is it? And obviously she's gonna wear her doggy suit as well because it's really cold today. Luckily it's not raining but it's very cold and very windy. Day. Where's the puppy? Big boo! <laughs> you feel like you're being born again. Let's show everyone. Oh, look at me, everybody. It's a Christmas puppy. Can I just say, first of all, this is my favourite Christmas tree we've ever, ever had. I think it's beautiful. Second of all, all the wrapping matches the tree this year and I just feel that is absolute goals. I have wrapped every single present this year and I think they all look lovely. The golds, white, silvers, beautiful. Da, 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 making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, spend my time running around Keeping people pleased this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you We've just gotten home from our walk None of us can feel our fingers or our toes So we're all gonna have a bowl of tomato soup 
with a bit of bread. I actually cannot deal with how cute this is. Christmas songs are on the telly. I didn't put these on, they're just on anyway. Catherine Jenkins, what a stunner. Look at this little puppy. I'm just taking some pictures for her for her first Christmas because obviously I don't want to miss it. But also not really ideal having to take them on Christmas day because it does take quite a while. So we're currently taking a few Christmas pics. She is so good with pictures. She doesn't care. She will literally just sit there. Let me put hats on her. Let me put signs next to her. She's like, oh, whatever. I'm just going to have a nap. We've got a new party trick to show you. <sighs> Wow! Did you get on the chair by yourself? I don't know why I have to do the noise for her to do that, but it's the only way she will. Wow! Okay, so mum and I are now gonna get all the vegetables ready for Christmas dinner tomorrow. Obviously there's only three of us this year, so it's not gonna be that hard, is it? No. It's not that different to a roast, really. It's exactly the same as a roast. Exactly the same as a roast, but we do have some extras like parsnips Pizza and... Blankets. Pigs in blankets and turkey. We never have turkey otherwise. But do you have to prep the turkey today? Yes. I don't want to do that bit. No. But I'll do all the vegetables. So I'm going to cut up the parsnips now. We're going to do half the parsnips with this um, seasoning. Roast parsnip seasoning. We've never tried this. Is that a bit risky on Christmas Day to try a new seasoning? Well, we're going to do the other half plain. So we'll at least like half of them. <laughs> 50% of the plastics we know will be a success. If you watched my TikTok Christmas food video, I'm gonna make the roast potatoes that I made in that video tomorrow. And I've also got cinnamon rolls for breakfast. By the way, the slow cooker isn't for Christmas dinner, that's for tonight's dinner, just in case you're thinking, what are they slow cooking? Not that anyone was thinking that. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna chop up the parsnips. Oh, this is quite difficult with this knife. I've actually only started to like parsnips in 2020. So at least one good thing's come out of 2020. But your tastes do change as you get older. Yeah, I like parsnips now. We like ours really crispy, so we cut them really thin. Or in parsnip chats with pan. We're just gonna have a quick tea break with some biscuits as well. These are the best biscuits. Are they biscuits? Are they cakes? Who even knows? But they're from M&S, peach and passion fruit. They are so good. They come in a pack of two. I can't move my hand right now, but there are actually two packs in here. £1.50 for two packs. I honestly have been known to eat an entire pack in one sitting. May or may not be about to do that right now. So my mum is currently doing the turkey, the giblets and all that. Ugh, gross. Just noticed I have no rings on because I faked hand last night. So I'm going to put my rings on. And I'm about to do my Christmas nails. I've left it very last minute this year. But I think I'm going to go for this dark green. This is in the shade A25 from Blue Sky. And I might attempt to put a bit of this gold... It's just a normal nail varnish, so I don't know how it's going to mix with a gel polish. I might put a bit of that on this finger, or maybe a bit of silver glitter. Hmm. But it's about quarter to six now, and at six o'clock we're going to go out and jingle our bells. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below, did you go outside your house and jingle a bell? Apparently it's for like the magic of Christmas or something, so very excited to go and do that. I don't think anyone down our road will do it, because there are like no kids that live down this road. Tis the season to be jolly careful. <laughs> We've got one minute. It's 5.59. Come on, Sunny. Come on, Christmas jumper. Here she comes. Here comes Santa down the stairs. Beautiful Christmas dress, Sunny. Ding, ding, ding. Say happy Christmas. Yay. Happy Christmas. <laughs> the best way to spread Christmas cheer is ringing loud for all to hear. So I've just finished my nails. I went for the silver glitter because the glitter, it's hard to explain, but the glitter was easier to spread out than the gold one. The gold one is kind of like a gold nail polish, whereas this one is like a clear nail polish with silver glitter. I feel like going for an accent nail is a little bit old school now, maybe. I don't know, am I right, am I wrong? But I thought a bit of Christmas sparkle, not hurting anyone, is it? Why not go all out for the end of 2020? I really need to tidy my room really badly. I normally tidy before Christmas and I just have not got round to it. My mum is currently wrapping my presents in the room next door. It's Christmas Eve. Like I said, I've wrapped all of the presents this year, but obviously not my own, so she's 
doing that. I will show you guys tomorrow what I get. I'm not going to do a dedicated video on it because we don't really go all out with presents. It's not like the focus of our day. The focus of our day is the food. So yeah, instead of doing a separate what I got for Christmas, I'll just show you at some point tomorrow. We've decided we're going to watch a Christmas film tonight. Which I'm very excited about. Although I didn't manage to get any family Christmas PJs. Which is a little bit sad. But <laughs> I mean I am 22. And were my parents that keen? No. So my mum and dad have just taken Sunny out for a walk. It's about 8 o'clock. But I've stayed here tonight because I'm going to set the table for Christmas dinner tomorrow. Obviously it's only the three of us. But I don't want that to change our Christmas. I still want it to be a special day. I'm still going to lay the table as we normally would. So this is what the table looks like right now. Very standard. These are some of my brother's presents. Obviously he's not going to be here tomorrow. But... He's got a cordless hoover for Christmas because that's what he asked for. <laughs> anyway, this is the table. I need to take my camera upstairs. First of all, I'm going to lay out this um, like protective liner that goes under the tablecloth. Next up is the actual tablecloth. So this is our Christmas one. Very fancy. A little bit silky. Very nice, very nice. Table mats. So I'm going to put a couple in the middle. They're not matching, but who really cares this Christmas or any Christmas? We're all family here. I feel like we should sit this end of the table rather than two people one side and one person the other because I don't want anyone to sit on their own. And then I guess we can just use this half of the table for like putting the food on and stuff. What a lonely Christmas. At least we've got each other though. We are very, very lucky. The Christmas candles are going back on the table along with the wax melt. I'm actually going to change the tea light and burn this and change it for a Christmas scented one. Got to have Christmas candles on the big day. Now that the bottom of this wax melt has heated up, I'm just going to, it should just pop out. There we go. And then the wax melt that I'm going to put in is from Molly May Melts on Instagram. It is a Christmas scented one. It smells so good. I can't remember what it's called. I got these napkins when I popped into Sainsbury's. I think they're so pretty. I'm making an executive decision. So I'm moving the candle decor. And in the middle, I'm gonna put this Christmas plant that my mum bought. I know these are toxic to dogs, so we've kept it out of reach of Sunny, of course. But that's gonna sit in the middle. Hmm, need something else around it. Ta-da! There we have our very lonely, nothing spectacular Christmas table. Gone for a very subtle gold theme this year. Like, it literally is just us. What else would we possibly need? Oh, hang on, salt and pepper. There we go. I give you three chances to guess who just had a pre-Christmas bath. And here's a clue, wasn't me. I look so tired, I apologise. It is now 20 to 10 in the evening. I just wanted to say, I'm really sorry guys, if this Christmas vlog is not what you're expecting it to be. Obviously, this has been a really tough year for everyone and I am in tier four. I think I've mentioned that already, but obviously I live in Essex. If you're not from the UK, basically with everything that's going on with COVID, the UK has been split into different tiers. So like tier one has the most freedom and tier four has the most restrictions, which basically means that everyone's Christmas got canceled a few days ago, which is not great. I really hope the majority of you guys watching this are in like tier three or even one and two. I think a lot of the countries in tier three, which is still fairly strict, but I believe you can gather three households for Christmas Day. So yeah, that is why my brother and his girlfriend can't come around for Christmas Day tomorrow. And we've been really excited for this Christmas all year because obviously we knew Sunny was coming into our lives and ever since the day we got her we were like imagine how lovely Christmas is gonna be but never mind it's not the end of the world. So yeah, apologies if this vlog is a little bit dull but it's just me and my parents at home having a cosy one this year. I hope that's all right with you. But one exciting thing is happening tomorrow. Me and my family have known about this for a few weeks now, but my brother is going to be proposing to his girlfriend in the morning, which is very exciting. And that was the main reason, to be honest, why we were so gutted when we were put into tier four, because they can't come here to celebrate tomorrow. However, we are going to go out for a walk with them in the morning. We're going to meet with them in a local park, take the dogs out, and obviously they're going to be really excited. They're going to want to talk about it and tell us the story of how it happened. And she's going to be so excited because she doesn't know anything. So we're going to get to see them briefly, which is good. It's a shame they can't come and spend the whole day with us, but at least we get to see them for like an hour or so. We have all been so excited. These are actually the engagement presents right here. I'm not going to tell too much of the story because obviously it's their story to tell, but a few weeks ago my brother told us that he had booked an appointment to go ring shopping and he told us he was going to do it on Christmas Day. And at that point we were like, oh my God, are you going to do it at your house, at our house? What's the plan? But now obviously we're in tier four. So he's going to do it in the morning tomorrow. They've got their own house. They live together with their little dog. So they're going to have a really lovely morning and I'm really, really excited for them. I did order their dog. His name's Diesel 
this bandana, which I'm going to give to them tomorrow because it's too cute not to get a picture opportunity. My humans are getting married. <laughs> How cute is that? And we'll do the present exchange in the car park. <laughs> not the most festive, not really how we imagined this Christmas to go down. Puppy's first Christmas and a proposal is quite an exciting one, so it is a bit of a shame that we can't all get together, but I mentioned this on Instagram recently and we're all just really grateful that we're all healthy and happy at the minute. So yeah, we can't really ask for anything more than that. I know this makes me sound like a right Scrooge, but I'm so happy that my office isn't the wrapping station anymore. If you saw my office a few weeks ago, I think I showed it in a vlog, this whole corner, I literally spilled out to like here, was presents, wrapping paper. I'm very happy to have my space back and for my office to be tidy again. Happy Christmas, Grinch. God loves you. I've just thought of a good idea. So my brother and his girlfriend, soon to be fiance, might even watch this vlog. So if any of you have any tips for married life or funny advice, let me know in the comments down below and they can read through them. Or just any messages of like congratulations or whatever. I know you guys are super lovely. So yeah, I'm gonna run myself a bath now. Probably put on a face mask, let's be honest. It's actually quite late now, so we're gonna postpone the Christmas film to tomorrow night on Christmas day, because obviously we're not got anyone coming over, so we're not gonna be doing anything in the evening anyway. So I'm sat here with Sunny, got some Ben and Jerry's cookie dough ice cream, one of the best flavors, and we're just gonna watch the festive Jonathan Ross. Doesn't give me ultimate festive vibes, I can't lie, but our tree does look cute. The whole room looks cute. I just love Christmas decor. everyone i hope you had a really lovely christmas by the time you're watching this maybe you're still celebrating but anyway for us this morning we've gotten up and got dressed and ready for the day just about to have our very special christmas breakfast we usually have bacon sandwiches on christmas day it's a bit of a tradition but we didn't really fancy that this year so we're gonna go and have our breakfast and then open our presents very excited i'm just glad the wrapping is done to be honest and the rest of my family's birthdays are in November and December, so I ain't got to wrap anything for a really long time. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you my Christmas outfit. If you watched my Christmas Day Get Ready With Me, you'll know that my family don't dress up massively for Christmas, but we don't stay in our pyjamas all day either. We kind of go for, like, comfy casual, and I've gone for a very similar outfit to what I was wearing in that Get Ready With Me. So these trousers are from Lounge. They are so comfortable. I've got Christmas socks on. Ho, ho, ho. Been saving them for the big day. How exciting. And this top... I actually got this last week. It's from Urban Outfitters. My first ever purchase from Urban Outfitters. I never felt like I was cool enough, but I saw this on TikTok and I was like, that's really pretty. I really like that. So this is my Christmas outfit for today. When we go out for a walk, I will get changed into something a bit warmer. But for while I'm at home, this is it. Nice and comfy, nice and stretchy. Absolutely key on Christmas because I'm gonna be eating a lot of food today. Speaking of food, let's go and have breakfast. I forgot to do Sunny's advent calendar yesterday. So lucky girl, you've got one on Christmas morning. Should we open it? Sunny, you've got a treat today. She's not gonna like this one though. Disappointing, that is massive for her. <laughs> It's as big as your face. Let's break it up for you. She's like, what on earth is that? Where's the normal ones? Where's the chocolates? You can eat it. She doesn't want it, she doesn't like it, look. So this is my Christmas breakfast this year. No Cocoa Pops today. Today I've got cinnamon rolls, freshly out of the oven with a glass of apple juice. Mum is having croissants and Dad is having scrambled egg and smoked salmon on toast. So we're having posh breakfasts all round today. No Cocoa Pops or Weetabix in sight. What's this? Oh, what's funny? Oh, what's that? <gasps> what's that oh, for? What is it? Oh. <gasps> it's a Chewy Vuitton! <laughs> <laughs> wow! <gasps> what's that? It's a gingerbread oh, man! Oh, wow. oh, I'll take that. <laughs> Sunny, come back. Look, you've got another one. <gasps> Look, this is Sunny. It's a dark snip. Well, but we're just having a really nice day, really chill, very calm and cosy. 
it's all about the puppy for us this Christmas. And if we can't see the rest of our family, at least we can relish in that. Here we are, guys. All of the families together. Here's the new fiancés. <laughs> Congratulations. I've asked people to, to comment down below some married advice for you, oh just in case they have any top tips of married life. Yeah, we'll but any advice. yeah, <laughs> any advice they can get. <laughs> so we're back now, and we've been back for quite a while actually. And I've just said to mum, why does it feel so much more stressful cooking on Christmas Day? Even though it's just the three of us, and it is basically just a roast, but with loads of extras, it feels so stressful. I don't know why. All systems go. The turkey's been in the oven for. Mm, how long would you say? Two and a half hours? Yeah. The roast potatoes are in. I've just done the rosemary and garlic for the potatoes. I'm on roast potato duty this year and I think that's quite a big task because that's the best bit. I've just made these starters as well. So mum and dad are having prawn cocktails. I used to have prawn cocktails when I was little but I've gone off them a bit to be honest. So I just have party food from M&S now. Party food wasn't that great this year. I'll show you when it's all out. But I'm actually quite hungry now. It's... 10 to 3 at the minute. Okay, so this is my party food starter this year. I'll probably share some of this with my dad. I don't think I'll eat all of this for the starters. I don't want to fill myself up too much before the main man comes, you know? So these are duck croquettes with, I think that's plum sauce or hoisin sauce, I'm not sure. These are, this is all from M&S by the way. This is um, barbecue poured pork wraps. They are so nice. These are tomato and mozzarella pastries. Then we've got some of these little chorizo and there's cheese in the middle of them. They're the only cold things on the plate. The rest of this is cooked. And these are mini tortillas. I'm just reading the packet with chorizo and potato. So that's my starter for Christmas this year. Looks lovely. Guess who was too busy eating their starter and missed the Queen's speech, which we always watch every single year without fail. A little bit fuming at ourselves, um, but we're just gonna watch it on plus one, it's fine. So annoying that it's literally three o'clock. We were all tucking in and my dad went, <gasps> Queen's speech <laughs> but never mind let me know in the comments down below do your family watch the Queen's speech on Christmas or not we always do these are Sunny's Christmas presents she's got her Chewy Vuitton how cute I'll leave a link to this in the description down below from the website I think the website was called something like Pooch's Toy Boutique I think I'm not too sure it's about 11 pounds the gingerbread man very cute and the parsnip they're both from Sainsbury's then I've got this Kong because when I take her to training they stuff this with food and she loves it, it keeps her like, occupied for ages so I thought if I need to get any work done this is really handy to have because I can just stuff like some chappy or something in the ends of that and she can go to town on it and then my brother and his fiance got her this <laughs> very real looking rabbit India said my brother chose this which doesn't surprise me Sunny is a little bit scared of it she's not too sure she's over there having a nap right now Christmas nap I'm gonna have a cuddle with her turkey's out of the oven looks very pale on camera it doesn't in real life I promise you it's now apparently got to sit for 20 minutes to let the juices go back into it anyway these are the roast potatoes I've finished them I've smashed them I'm hoping they're gonna be fluffy on the inside they're not quite as golden as I'd hoped they would be but I don't want them to burn so I'm gonna get them out now and I've got some garlic cloves in there I've also made the rosemary and lemon salt and sprinkled that over the top So this is what my Christmas dinner looks like before the gravy. I thought I'd show you now because I feel like you can see it a bit better. So we've got turkey, ham, streaky bacon, pigs in blankets, carrots, roast potatoes, Brussels sprouts, stuffing, peas, swede, a Yorkshire pudding and parsnips. Some of the parsnips are plain and some of them have parsnip. What's it called? Parsnip seasoning? Yeah. Parsnip seasoning. We haven't tried that before but this looks delicious. So I'm now going to put the gravy on and it will probably be swimming. Happy Christmas! Why are false teeth like stars? They only come out at night. <laughs> yeah, they both come out at night. <laughs> Why didn't anyone bid for Rudolph and Bitson? I don't know. Why? Because they were too dear. <laughs> what do you call an old snowman? I don't know. A puddle. <laughs> Sunny's dealing with the cracker while we eat. She's looking at me like, what is that on your head? So a very quick Christmas day update. <laughs> we all fell asleep for about an hour. Anyway, we're now gonna watch um, the Christmas day Coronation Street and have some Christmas pudding. Here's the Christmas pudding with loads of cream. I actually would never choose Christmas pudding other than on Christmas day. I like it, but I don't love it. I'd never pick it in a restaurant, but I feel like you have to have some on Christmas. <laughs> Same with Brussels sprouts, really. Mm. 
literally had the laziest Christmas and I've loved every minute of it. I thought I would quickly sit down this evening and show you guys what I got because I know quite a lot of you will be interested in this. So I'm just going to quickly run through it. Like I've mentioned, I think previously in this vlog, Christmas isn't really about the presents for us. Obviously when you're kids, that is like the most exciting thing about Christmas. But now that we're older and we don't have any kids in the family, it's all about the food, hon. I'd rather money for presents go towards money for good food. <laughs> but saying that, I have been very, very lucky this year. So I'm going to show you what I got. First of all, my mum always does a stocking for me every year. So in my stocking this morning, I got a whole bunch of chocolates, all of my favourite. A white chocolate orange as well. I didn't even know that exists. Then one thing I always ask for, for Christmas is nail files just cheap ones because I get through them so quickly because I wear gel nails you have to like file off the gel when you take them off and she also got me some more reusable cotton pads because I only have one pack of these they come in a pack of I think seven and I've used mine every night since I got them so she got me another pack of those which was very kind of her my favorite eyelashes as well these are the Ardell wispies she got me this mug that says I don't give a sip <laughs> cotton pads another thing I always say to her can't go wrong with cotton pads I use the reusable ones most of the time but when it comes to like my nails or getting eyelashes off and things like that I do use these ones but they do last me a long time so this pack will probably last me six months and the last few things in my stocking she got a few body washes these are some of my favorite ones from Dove she also got me another dry shampoo and also an e45 daily lotion because in the summer this is my favorite moisturizer oh nearly hit myself in the face with it then moving on to actual presents we kind of stick to a three present each rule but she has gone a little bit over these are from my mum and my dad so the first thing I opened is this jar of smiles I think this is so sweet so it's a little jar with a quote for every day of the month and it's all about positive thinking I admit it sometimes I'll wake up and I'm just in a bad mood and I can't shake it so she thought for those kind of days these would be really nice they then got me this Pandora jewelry care kit I didn't know these exist but this is going to be really handy to clean all my jewelry with I'm pretty sure it will work on all jewellery as well not just Pandora but I do have quite a lot of stuff from Pandora like earrings and different rings and stuff and then she got me Mrs Hinch's book and I'm surprised she got me this because I watch Mrs Hinch every day her and Stacey Solomon are like my life goals <laughs> and I think she must have seen an advert for this on the telly or something because she was like I've heard it's got really good reviews and my mum doesn't do the internet at all so she wouldn't have seen it online like if people said it was good and then my main present from my mum and dad I've been thinking about this every day since we ordered it probably about a month ago the Hotel Chocolat Velvetizer. Oh my gosh. I've heard people say such good things about this. So it's basically a hot chocolate. Oh, it's not really like a machine. I guess it kind of is. It's a drinking chocolate system. They also got me these um, tester packs. So I have two of these and they've got all the flavours of hot chocolate in that hotel chocolate cell. So vanilla white, nut milk, milky, classic dark, salted caramel, orange, hazelnut praline, chilli and ginger and mint. So then you can choose which one you like the best, like test them all out and then buy tubs of them. We actually have a hotel chocolate shop about 15 minutes from our house it's in Chelmsford so that's super handy and this machine actually comes with these little um, cups as well I went for the white one there are three different colors so there's this rose gold there is grey and then there's the white and I chose the white. This is actually what I got for my brother and his girlfriend this Christmas as well. I got them the grey one though to match their kitchen. So very excited we're going to try this out tonight. And then speaking of my brother and his girlfriend, well fiance now, they always get us like a joint family present. We always like do something and go out for a day. So this year as our family present they gave us quite a hefty voucher towards a little breakaway because we've said that next year the five of us we all want to go on holiday together but somewhere in the UK to like a cottage or something like that with the dogs. I really want to go to Cornwall but we'll see where everyone else wants to go as well and it's going to go towards that so very very excited about that. And then they also got me a few other bits. So first of all is this reed diffuser. Look at that it comes with the flower. I think that goes in the pot. They got me a fizzy pink lemonade and a pina colada. Pina colada is my favourite alcoholic drink and I have tried this fizzy pink lemonade as well. It is delicious. Kinder Buenos. Thank you very much. And then from my auntie on my mum's side they got me the La Vie Spell perfume. I actually got the wax melt of this first and then I was like, I'm gonna have to get the actual perfume. So I did ask for this for Christmas. And they also got me a Ted Baker body wash, very posh, very posh. And this little hanging decoration, me, my mum and my dad all got one of these. It's got a H on it for the tree. And then from one of my aunties on my dad's side, her and her family very kindly got me 
these little bits from Dior. I'm very lucky. So in here, there are two Dior lip balms in two different shades. In the shades 001 Pink and 004 Coral. And also this, how cute is this? It's a little Dior perfume. How handy is that going to be for travelling? And I was too excited about this. They got me the sweetest little socks. So these are called Lover Socks. I've never heard of them before. But they're little ankle socks. And on the back of the heel... Can you see that? They have a little heart on them. They are so sweet. There's so many pairs here as well. And they also very kindly gave me some money to go along with those gifts. So then from my other auntie on my dad's side, she put together this beautiful hamper. I've kind of destroyed it now, I have to admit. But her and the family got me a wax melt burner. I haven't actually got my own one, so this is very handy. I'm going to put this in my bedroom. Along with a little pack of tea lights. And in this box, well, I say box, it's actually a lovely basket, which I'll definitely get a lot of use out of. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here yet, but I'll definitely use it. There are a whole load of wax melts. Lime basil and mandarin, Lady Million. I even saw a flash bathroom one somewhere. This one is unstoppable fresh. So there's like cleaning scented ones as well, which is so me. My family know me so well. I forgot to say my mum and dad also got me a box of Gillian. I've fallen back in love with these chocolates recently. But they are a pretty penny, so I'm very grateful for those. From my best friend Leanne, we actually did our present exchange the other day. We went down to the river, sat on a bench, because obviously we can't go into each other's houses at the minute. We just sat on a bench, exchanged presents. It was really cute, very wholesome. She got me the Glossier Priming Moisturiser. She asked me what I wanted for Christmas, and straight away I was like, I am so close to the end of this moisturiser. And it is one that I use almost every time I do my makeup. Then she got me these from Etsy. She knows I love a small business. Look at these little hot chocolate reindeers. I can actually use my hot chocolate machine with these as well. You can use any kind of hot chocolate in that. Look at this. Things to do today, Hannah. This is my perfect daily planner because we all know I'm a list maker. It has a priority list down the side so you can like number them like one, two, three, four, five. Obviously write your things on the list and then it has a box to tick them off when they're done. I will use every single page of this book. She then got me from another small business. This is actually one of her friend's businesses who is making handmade soaps. How sweet does this look? It's a little honeycomb. It smells so good. Thank you very much, Leanne. And that is everything that I got for Christmas this year. I feel so lucky. I absolutely adore it all. My perfume, my lashes, my hot chocolate machine, my chocolates. They're all so, so me. I almost forgot one last thing because it was still downstairs. I actually wore this when we went out for a walk today. But my mum and dad also got me this fleece from Goose and Gander. I actually have this in grey and I wear it all the time. They are so warm. But I thought this colour would be nice for the summer. Like summer evenings because I wear my other one so much. So yeah, they got me this lovely fleece. It's a lovely colour. I love the beigey kind of neutral tones. Goose and Gander is one of my favourite brands for clothes. So I am very very grateful for that. Just want to say in no way shape or form bragging about what I got for Christmas this year I feel like you guys know that though. That's not really what I'm about But I know that a lot of you will like to see what I got so yeah from the little things to the big things I'm grateful for all of it and I hope you guys got some lovely bits for Christmas too. Okay, here we have the hot chocolate machine Oh, got to turn it on. I'm about to make a hot chocolate for the first time I'm gonna do a classic hot chocolate. I thought this was a good place to start Okay, so we're all sitting down here now and we're gonna watch Noel on Disney Plus. Got my blanket, we're all cozy. Got your slippers on, got your comfy slippers. clothes on. Shiny slippers. Oh yeah, look, I got mum these slippers for Christmas. Look at these. Anyway, we're gonna watch Noel now. I've just made my hot chocolate. Here it is, it looks all frothy on top as well. It looks really nice. Shall I try it now? Mm. Oh, that's lovely. So guys, that brings us to the end of the Christmas vlog. I've got a face mask on currently because I've eaten an insane amount of chocolate over the past few days. I feel like my skin is gonna have a breakdown any minute now, so I've put a face mask on to try and prevent it. This vlog took me a really long time to edit, so I'm sorry it went up late, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a really lovely Christmas as well. Let me know in the comments down below what was the highlight of your Christmas this year. Whether it was big or small, I wanna know. But Anyway, do subscribe to see my future videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye guys. Love ya.